This lesson begins with the teacher saying hello to all the children and the children saying hello to the teacher. She then asks the children how they are by using hand gestures as well as asking the question. Ça va? With thumbs up. Oui, ça va. With nursery children, the teacher's approach is different to that of teaching older children. It is important to give lots of praise and encouragement and to help the children with the words if they're shy. The teacher then produces a teddy bear and asks the children to say hello to the teddy bear. She then asks them to tell the teddy bear their name and helps them if they are struggling by themselves. Some of the children are confident and some are very shy. The teacher needs to give all the children the same level of attention. Can you remember how to tell him your name in French? Can you remember? I bet you can. Evelyn, what do you say to tell him your name in French? You say... Je m'appelle Evelyn. Oh, oh, Evelyn. Nunos is going to come round. Can you tell him your name again? And he Je m'appelle Erin. Bravo. Bonjour, Erin. Je m'appelle Evelyn. Ah, bonjour, Evelyn. Dylan. You say this time, Dylan. Je m'appelle Dylan. Say bonjour. Say bonjour. 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 Liam. Je m'appelle Liam. Bravo. Bonjour, Liam. Ah, bonjour, Jane. Ah, bonjour, Craig. Je m'appelle Lucie. Bonjour Lucie. Je m'appelle Amelia. Ah bonjour Amelia. Bonjour Dominique. Bonjour Dominique. Bonjour. Bonjour. Liam Bisou. Oh bravo. Nounos is really pleased again. He's remembered all your names. He's going to sit and watch you there. Okay. Voici mes mains. Voici mes mains. Dylan, let's see your hands. Voici mes mains. Voici mes doigts. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Oh, bravo, super! The teacher moves straight into a finger rhyme in French to revise counting. You will notice that a lot more English is used in nursery classes compared with primary classes interspersed with the target language. In this little tank. Six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to give a little This is followed by another finger rhyme, Monsieur Pousse, which the children love and enjoy using the actions. Monsieur Pousse est dans sa maison, Dylan. You see Monsieur Pousse dans sa maison? Talk, talk, talk. Qui est là? Qui est là? Bonjour. Bonjour, c'est moi. C'est moi. Bravo, it's me. He's going to be asleep. Do you think this time he's going to be asleep? What are we going to do to wake him? Wake him up. What wake are we going to say up. to him to wake him up? We're going to say... Oh, you see, we are. Are you ready? Monsieur Pousse est dans sa maison. Put Monsieur Pousse dans sa maison. Don't we put Monsieur Pousse dans sa maison? There. Okay. Are you ready? Talk, talk, talk. Monsieur Pousse. Et tu là? Je te. Talk, talk, talk. As soon as this finger rhyme is finished, the teacher moves on to the parts of the face with the actions, which
which the children are very confident with and they clearly know all the words. The teacher then goes through the words and actions for an action rhyme about my house, using parts of the face as different parts of the house. This is then repeated with the children joining in. The next activity is an action song, all about ma maison, with the same vocabulary the children have just been using. The teacher walks the children through the words and actions of the song before the children sing along with the song on the CD. This is great fun and the children are really enjoying singing the song and joining in with the actions. The song is repeated several times and the children are very confident and sing beautifully. This is followed by another song. There is lots of repetition in the song. <laughs> The teacher then explains in English to the children that she's got some animals hiding in her magic bag. She then says animals in French and the children have to guess which animal is going to come out of the magic bag. The teacher coaxes the children and encourages them with lots of praise to guess which animal it is. Oui, can we say bonjour? Bonjour. Bonjour, souris. Bonjour, souris. Bravo, Evelyn. Super. Let's go to that. sit up. Now then, who else? She is not sitting up, never mind. Who else? The children don't always get the animal right first time, but that doesn't matter. They are absorbing this new vocabulary, ready to use again in future lessons. The children then sing the song again, and this time pass the magic bag around the circle. And when the music stops, they have to take an animal from the bag and say what it is in French. The children love this activity. It's like pass the parcel. Un chat. Un chat. Un chat. Bravo. Un chat. 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 Un chat.
Ayşe teyze bu şuşa. Bu şuşa. Bu şuşa. Well, let's see who's coming out next then. Just put that right. There's a little animal. We've got here. Huh? Doggy. What was he called in French? Can you remember what his name was? Dog. It was a bit, little bit like Shao, wasn't it? But we called it as... Chien. 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 Oh, bravo. And that just leaves. Oh, oh the Mossack machine. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. And Platon. Oh, Lucy. Super. Bravo. Oh. Why is it? Can you say bonjour poisson? Bonjour poisson. Why is he blue? It's a little different one. We're going to talk about the colours in a moment. Can you say bonjour to poisson? Bonjour poisson. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them back dans le sac magique. We're going to play some music. When the music stops, I think we'll leave Souris there. When the music stops, whoever's holding le sac magique can take one of the animals out and say bonjour to it. Try and remember the name, okay, as you take it out. So let me find some music. No, you can stay sitting down for this one, okay. Amelia, you start with the sac machine. Remember to pass it on until the music stops. Off you go. The children then sing the song again, and this time pass the magic bag around the circle. And when the music stops, they have to take an animal from the bag and say what it is in French. The children love this activity. It's like past the parcel. Who have you got, Liam? Let's pull him out. Let's have a look. Who have you got in there? Ah, who's that? Okay, bravo. You can keep hold of him for a moment, Liam. You have to do the bag up again. Let's pass it round again. You ready? See who gets the bag. Let's find him. Let's talk to you, Who's that, Terrin? Who do you got? You say bonjour lapin. Bonjour lapin. Bravo. Super. Okay, you ready, Amelia? Grace, who have you got? Who can you see? Who's that? Can you remember what his name is in French? Call him a Bonjour Chat. Bonjour Chat. Bonjour Chat. Oui. Okay, you ready? Pass him on one more time. That's it. Pass him on. Keep passing him on. Pass him on, that's right. Oh. Evelyn, who have you got, Evelyn? Can you say bonjour poisson? Bonjour poisson. Bonjour poisson. Bravo. Super. The teacher seamlessly moves on to the next activity, which is talking about colours. Can you remember what we call that? She starts by asking the children the colours of the fish in French, and then follows this up with colours the children are wearing. The only part in French is the colour itself. And we've also got a little bit of Your tights, do you think? Red. What do you call I that in French? 
What colour did we call that in French, Evelyn? Can you remember? Was it rouge? Rouge. Can you try saying that? Rouge. rouge. You've got some blood on your shoes. Okay, can you pass moi oh, le chien, s'il vous plaît, Liam? Pass moi le chien. Merci. Et le chat? Bravo, super. This leads on to another song, this time about the colours of the rainbow. The teacher asks the children to listen out for the colours in the rainbow song before she plays it on the CD. The children are familiar with the tune as it's the same as the English singer Rainbow. This is a beautiful calm song and the children enjoy drawing the rainbow in the air with their arms even though they don't know all the words to the song at this stage. Try and remember the word in French. Get your favourite colour. Ready? Rose and orange and red Violet and orange and blue Can you draw? Je dessine un arc-en-ciel Un bel arc-en-ciel The teacher then moves swiftly on to another song which the children know well and enjoy doing the actions to. Before she plays the song on the CD, the teacher goes through the actions with the children and asks them if they know what the words of the song mean. What does that mean? If, yes, if you're, is it if you're sad? Yes. This song has the same tune as if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, and the children love it. It finishes with them sitting down and closing their eyes, which makes it a good end to the lesson. Tap de man. We're going to stand up. We're going to tap de pie. We're going to. What else are we going to? Do pontons. We have to smile when we say ponton, don't we? Like that, Liam J. Good. You ready? Good singing, Thank you. 
The teacher finishes the lesson by rewarding the children with stickers.